So I was getting ready for the day and I knew that I wanted to do some sort of fall makeup so I thought I would just sit down and film it for you guys. So here it is. I'm starting off with a primer to smooth out my base. I'm using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of it. It's really thick but it does help with the appearance of pores. For foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. It is true to its name, super lightweight feeling. It's not the heaviest coverage. If you want a heavier coverage from Urban Decay, I'd probably go with the All Nighter Foundation. And then my brush is the Flat Kabuki from Sigma. As much as I love this brush, it does tend to leave some streaks, so I just go over those with my beauty blenders who blend them all out. Next, I'm going to bronze up my skin with the e.l.f. contouring palette. It's so affordable, it's like $4 and it's great quality, blends out really nicely. To contour my nose, I am using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, just creating the illusion of a shadow to define and slim it out. To do this, I actually apply the bronzer with an eyeshadow brush and I make sure that it has a really flat edge so I can be really precise with the lines down the sides of my nose. And then I go heavier on the sides and then towards the tip of my nose, I kind of feather it out. After I'm done contouring, I go ahead and I blend this out with my beauty blender. You wanna make sure it's blended out nicely or you will be walking around with those lines down your nose. Very cute. <laughs> I like to apply my eyeshadow primer before I do my brows so that it has time to dry so it's not like too tacky. An alternative way of doing this is by applying your primer and then going over with a loose powder but I just get loose powder everywhere so I just give it time to dry a little bit. To fill in my brows, I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow. I create the outline and then I fill them in. So first I draw the bottom line and then the top of the brow. And then I distribute the product throughout this, combing it with a spoolie as I go along. My brows are already quite defined, so I basically just need to fill out any sparse areas, especially the tails and the front of the brows. They're also naturally quite thin, so I like to thicken them up a bit and then darken them. If you see any stray hairs on my brows, it's because I'm trying to grow them out, but they are just not growing for me. I need to try that castor oil method. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do for my eye look, so you guys get to see me just come up with something on the spot. For my transition shade, I went in with the shade Burnt Orange from Anastasia Beverly Hills, just blending this into my crease, and this is to make sure that all of our eyeshadows blend nicely and aren't too harsh. I'm blending this color out with my Morphe M433. You want a nice light hand so that the color is distributed evenly. I love this brush. It's a cheaper alternative to the very popular MAC 217. The MAC 217 is around $25, and then this Morphe one is $6, so definitely a steal. In the center of the lid, I'm applying the shade Golden Poppy. It's from NYX, and I'm applying this with my Sigma eyeshadow brush. First, I make the brush wet, and then I dip it into the shadow. It makes the eyeshadow super pigmented. Don't worry about any lines when we're doing this because we'll take a blending brush afterwards and then we'll go over the edges. So all I'm focused on right now is just packing on that color. Then we're just gonna take a clean fluffy blending brush and blend out the edges. In the outer corner of my eye, I'm applying the shade Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm applying this with a tapered brush, one that's a little pointier at the edge so that I can concentrate the color better. This color is the most beautiful deep red matte shade, perfect for the fall. And then after I apply that in the outer corner, I'm blending it out with that same Morphe brush. 
For an inner corner highlight, I'm applying the shade Sugar from Wet n Wild, but it was way too harsh, so I blended it out with the Morphe brush just to let it blend into the gold and orange shades a little bit better. If you need a bright white eyeshadow, this is definitely a great one. It is super pigmented, and it was only a few dollars. And then I'm repeating everything on the other eye. I always mean to do each step on each eye at the same time, but I get way too wrapped up in what I'm doing, and I just forget. Before I applied my eyeliner, I decided that the Sienna shade got a little too blended out, so I went back in lightly to get a little more of that red pigment back. For eyeliner, I am using the Essence Eyeliner. This eyeliner was like $3, and personally, I love it, but the wand can be a little bit too wide for people to work with, so just a heads up if you're thinking about trying this one. I'm doing a small little wing, but looking back, I wish I did it just a bit bigger because once I put my lashes on, the wing gets a little bit lost. So if you're thinking about trying out this look, I definitely recommend doing a little bit of a bigger wing than I did. I don't know what got me in the habit of doing this method, but I always do an outline and then I fill things in with my brows, with my eyeliner. Does anyone else do this? Next, I'm applying mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. Let me know if anyone has a great mascara that I should try, preferably cruelty-free. I can't seem to find one that I like better than this one. I go pretty heavy on the mascara application so that my false eyelashes will blend nicely with my natural ones. The lashes I'm using today are the QO 804 Lashes Drugstore and Super Affordable. When I posted a picture of this look on my Instagram, someone asked me what my lashes were and I said Duo instead of QO, but Duo is my lash glue. QO are my lashes. And in terms of the lash glue, I like to use the black adhesive one. Instead of the clear, I feel like it dries way nicer. Okay, so for lips, I used the Anastasia Liquid Lip in Ashton, but I didn't have a lip liner that matched the color, so it kind of strayed on me when I was applying it. Leave me a comment if you know a good lip liner for this color. I love it, but I can't find a lip liner for it. And that was my look for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. If you did, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.